TIG TV News Update. I'm Donna Bush. Glad you could join us. It was an evening filled with entertainment, great food, and an amazing Caribbean atmosphere at the National Gallery on Monday evening. It was all part of annual events put on by the Ministry and Department of Tourism, who put out all, pulled out all stops as they welcomed some special guests to Grand Cayman. This is really what tourism is all about. We bring some of the best producers from the United States and other markets. Um, we invite them here to Cayman so they can see our product, look at um, the different opportunities that are available for them and then we have our partners that are on island also come together so they host them and take them around also Cayman Brack and Little Cayman is always included. It's one thing to talk about and, and put things online and use the print advertising but there's nothing like actually visiting a destination and Cayman as you know is, is the best producing destination in the region right now. So we have the highest average daily rate. It's important for us to push into next year and, and charge into keeping our up occupancy and our rates up. So with the success that we've had, we have to work even harder to have more success next year. Invited guests will continue to enjoy Grand Cayman and learn more about our islands over the next few days. Meantime, Tourism Minister the Honorable Moses Kakarnal gave hundreds of local and visiting guests who attended the annual tourism conference on Tuesday morning details on the state of our island's tourism industry. Themed People, Purpose and Passion, a Pathway to Success, the conference showcased various speakers including international keynote speaker, economist Marla Dukharan, who provided global insights into the economy of the Caribbean, as well as Director of our Tourism Department, Mrs. Rosa Harris, who shared an overall synopsis on the various segments of visitors to our islands. Some of the studies that I mentioned at the start of my presentation, I shared with you a snippet of the affluent intelligence study, but we also have some brand tracking information on the U.S. market, as well as the Canadians and the Cayman Islands market research. So what you're looking for, we'll do our best to supply it for you. Additionally, if you'd like to see what we look like across the world, we have various websites that we manage Particularly with cultural nuances, you'll see the various regions. We slice the information based on the visitor profile. So there's a number of sites that you can access for Cayman Islands information. Our, way, our main site is visitcaymanislands.com. Everyone knew that as caymanislands.ky, but most destinations are now moving to visit and then the name of the country. And we've done so as well. And it is a .com. The conference ended with a panel discussion on global economies, development, and travel trends. Well, over in Kim and Brack, a gospel concert, as you just heard there, was held over the weekend. It featured local and international artists and is all part of the Brack Heritage Autumn Festival, which was supported by Celebrate Cayman. Celebrate Cayman's Traveling District display made its way to Kevin Brack for the two-day event. The display was curated by the Cayman Islands National Museum and features artifacts that share the story of the coat of arms and serves as a preview of the museum's upcoming coat of arms exhibition. The traveling display was already visited, or has already visited rather, East End and North Side, and we'll move on to Little Cayman soon. To learn more about Celebrate Cayman District display, you can visit the dedicated website, which is celebratecayman.ky. Finally, all the partners involved in the 2019 Carifta Track and Field Championships to, uh, attended and witnessed the signing of the Memorandum of, of Understanding between all involved parties. We look forward with great enthusiasm to doing our part in bring, bringing together sportsmen and women to showcase the Caribbean efforts in enhancing regional unity through sports. Today marks the beginning of a series of events that will culminate in the hosting of the 48th Car of the Games to be held April 20 to the 22nd, 2019. The Cayman Islands LOC through the hospices of the CIAA is proud to be, to be the host of this prestigious event. As we come together and the association does their part, the private sector does their part, government do our part, we believe that as we go live and we will go live, that the world would want to 
once again put their faith and belief in Corifta. But most importantly, as a minister of education, I believe that music and sports alike are those wonderful commodities that can bring our Caribbean brothers and sisters together. Because though we are separated by geography, our economies have made us partners. But we believe that sports has that wonderful ability to make us blood brothers and sisters. I'm very excited because I saw a Cayman Island now this time. I haven't been here, I can't remember, maybe 10 years. But the growing, growing and stable and uh, uh, when I wor walk into the stadium, it's the same stadium that I saw in the past, uh, clean, uh, uh, no damage anywhere, you know, and then you're going to bring it to the next level, right. you know, because uh, the idea is for us to bring more important events like Pan American Championships mm -hmm. and stuff like that to the Cayman Island. As you mentioned, sport is so important in our life now, and it's so important for the development of our youth. And, uh, and and our own, uh, our people, you know, because uh, the more sports we do, the more the, the people get involved, the communities, parents, and stuff like that. And we and we are able to uh, develop our uh, uh, children uh, to become uh, great people, uh, going to universities and so forth. Our website has been established, and sponsorship packages are available on the website. And we'll be approaching the private sector uh, within the next couple of weeks a little more aggressively now that we've uh, uh, gotten to the point of signing the MOU to be able to raise, we hope, somewhere in the region of uh, about 400,000 in the local economy. Uh, the NACAC has uh, assisted us and, and, and confirmed that they will not seek uh, uh, regionally to, to have a financial institution as a sponsor so that this will not cause any conflicts with, uh, with us locally uh, and we're very grateful for that consideration from them. Um, in terms of volunteers, our, our application forms have been finalized. We've developed a code of conduct. Um, these, these items are available on our website, and uh, we, will, we will be going out to aggressively recruit uh, in, in short order. We've also created a list of potential track volunteers already. Um, the competition team, Ms. Evelyn and Osbert, have, have already developed a training schedule. Um, first training will be November. Uh, first week November and last week November, and this training will continue for the rest of the year and, and into the new year. Um, uh, and so we, re we really, really please Minister for the opportunity to serve. Um, th the team has been exceptional, and, and, and I want to thank everybody for their contribution. President of NACAC, Mr. Victor Lopez and his team were on island to inspect our facilities during what is pla the planning stages. Signing the agreement were Lance Barnes, president of the local athletics association, along with his co-chair of the Carifta Organizing Committee, Mr. Joel Francis, and president of NACAC, uh, Victor Lopez. Now, the Carifta Track and Field Championships will take place at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex next year from April 20th to the 22nd. Well, as always, if you would like to take a look at our CIGTV uh, programming for this week, you can go online to gis.gov.ky. Be sure to click on the publication link at the bottom of the home page. Also, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me. I invite you to join me again tomorrow. Until then, be safe and have a wonderful night. Did you know that planning permission is required for a shed? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required?